But let's go ahead and look at GameStop's pricing and price charting process and see kind of what the difference is. Okay, so GameCube prices have been all over the place lately. The coronavirus and people being stuck at home has become a resurgent for video games. And that's totally awesome. I love that. But it means the prices of games have fluctuated a lot. And some of these games have gone crazy. So I've talked about a few prices back uh, a few months ago when it happened. But I figured let's go ahead and dig deeper into this. Let's go ahead and look at GameStop's pricing and price charting processing and see kind of what the difference is, if they're the same, if they're different, and how it worked. Well, I grabbed six different games here that I want you guys to kind of know the prices on and figure out whether or not it's worth it buying from GameStop or going and using price charting and going and buying games that way. So I want to dig into each one of these games but I want to state before I say anything else is GameStop has the pricing where it says, okay, this may be complete. It might be loose disc. So what I assumed is it's loose disc. Now, obviously I have them complete. You, you guys can see that. But whenever it comes to looking at the GameStop prices and looking at price charting prices, all of these were assumed that this was a very loose there was nothing else but that. So I looked at price charting and they have loose, complete, and new. And I didn't look at the complete or new ones. I just looked at loose, assuming that GameStop was just going to give me that. Now you may get more than that and it'll definitely boost the value, but I don't want you expecting that. So assume if you're going to get a GameCube game from GameStop that it is going to be a loose diff. So let's go ahead and check out the prices and check out what we've got here. Now, first off, I've got Animal Crossing. Well, as you know, Animal Crossing New Horizons came out on the Switch earlier this year and people are back into Animal Crossing more than ever. So that is why I decided to go ahead and look this game up. And honestly, this game was worth a little bit more than I thought, but that's uh, that's normal. I don't keep up with prices on specific games um, unless I'm trying to buy them or sell them. And I haven't really ran across any Animal Crossing ones for the GameCube, so I haven't been keeping up on it. However, if you look at it, GameStop has this game for $35, and that's loose, of course, and you're probably just going to get the disc and everything like that. But if you go over to price charting and look, it looks like price charting has this game charting for about $30. So is this one one you're going to want to pick up from GameStop? Probably not because it looks like they're selling for five bucks cheaper on Amazon or eBay or other selling sites like that. So if you are looking to pick up a Animal Crossing a loose disc, don't go to GameStop. And honestly, uh, try to pick up the complete copy, but if you're on a budget and that stuff, you know how to do this. But that's, I mean, a $30 game, that's not too bad, $5 difference. That could just be the day of when they post it on GameStop or anything like that, but uh, it is what it is. Let's keep moving on. Next, we've got Mario Kart Double Dash. And honestly, this is probably one of my favorite, if not my favorite Mario Kart game. It's a ton of fun and it's so amazing. And if you don't have this and you're wanting to grow a GameCube collection, this is definitely one you should have in your console collection. When it comes to the GameCube and Mario Kart, it's just a ton of fun. Now let's go ahead and head over to GameStop's pricing. And GameStop currently has this for $50, $49.99, which is probably not a crazy expensive deal because if you play this, you're definitely gonna get that out of it. But what does price charting have? Price charting has this game at $42. So as the earlier game was only $5 off, it looks like price charting has this game for $8 cheaper, which means you can find a deal on this. So don't just run and go to GameStop because you're probably not gonna get a good deal on this. And honestly, if you don't have this game, you definitely should. And Mario Kart Double Dash is amazing. So let's keep going. And this is the most expensive game on the list. And I wanted to bring this to your attention just because one, this game is absolutely expensive. And two, if you see this game out, you need to pick it up. 
That is Fire Emblem Path of Radiance. Now this is an expensive game and I picked this up forever ago. I did not pay more than 50 bucks. I can guarantee that. And so I've had this on my shelves and this thing has just been going up and up and up in value. So if you're a Fire Emblem fan, you want to pick this up. It's a rare game, at least it's a sought after game, I guess I should say. It is an expensive game. Let's go ahead and pull up GameStop, and it seems like GameStop is selling this loose for $155. Yes, that is $155 bucks for a Path of Radiance uh, on the GameCube. That's an amazing price that's gone up in value. It's insane. But let's go ahead over to price charting, and price charting has it for $155 loose as well. So this is a good deal. If you see this on GameStop and you want to pick it up loose, go ahead and head over there and get it delivered and shipped to you because it seems to be a fair price. Uh, GameStop occasionally has fair prices. So pick up Fire Emblem from GameStop if you're looking for it and if they have it in stock. Um, but I feel like $155 is an insane price for this. Let's keep rolling. And next we've got Mario Paper Mario that next we have Paper Mario Thousand Year Door this is an amazing game if you love Paper Mario you definitely need to pick this game up it is so much fun and is so awesome so definitely pick this up if you are looking to grow your game collection or you don't have this but you love Paper Mario you should have this in your collection let's head over to GameStop their prices is $60 for this loose, which is a pretty decent deal. I feel like this game has fluctuated in the past and has gone crazy and dipped down and gone crazy. It's gone all over the place. Let's go ahead and check out price charting, which has it for $67. Yes, that's a $7 cheaper difference on GameStop. GameStop has won this price at least. Now they may not have it in stock or whatever, but when they do, if you could pick this up for 60 bucks, it's definitely worth it for you because you save seven bucks. Honestly, that's totally well worth it to me. I mean, this is an amazing game. If you don't have it, you should, but let's go ahead and move forward. The next game we have here is Super Smash Bros. Melee. This game is always a phenomenal game on the system. Yeah, you should have this. If you have a GameCube and you don't have this game, I don't know what you're thinking. You're doing it wrong. But let's go ahead and check out the prices. Uh, let's go to GameStop first. And it looks like GameStop had this recently for $45, but now it is marked down to $35. It is on sale, so that is a good deal. I think $35 bucks for Super Smash Bros. Melee is an amazing price, and that's a price you got to jump at. Now let's go ahead and head over to price charting, which is $43. So if it wasn't on sale, uh, price charting would be $2 cheaper. However, it is on sale on GameStop's website. So GameStop has the cheaper price here at $8 cheaper. And honestly, Super Smash Brothers is amazing. And you definitely have to be picking this up for your GameCube. Zelda Wind Waker on the GameCube is an amazing game and is probably one of my favorite Zelda games. Now it's not my favorite, but that's a different story. But this is an amazing game and honestly is one you definitely have to have. It's a fun Zelda game. It's amazing and I love the graphics and the art style. Everything about this is an awesome game. Now let's go ahead and head over to GameStops and look their pricing is $35 loose, which is a really good price as well. As a Smash Brothers was $35, it looks like this is $35. These are good games to be picking up for your console, for your GameCube. Now let's go ahead and head over to price charting, which has it for $40, which is a little bit more than GameStop, which is surprising. But price charting is pretty average, obviously. It could fluctuate. But five bucks cheaper at GameStop, go pick this game up at GameStop. Honestly, you need to have this for your, your system, your collection, and it's a game that I absolutely love and it's totally fun to play. So there it is. That is these six games, all from GameCube system, all from the GameCube system. And looking at price charting, it looks like these games actually uh, like are going pretty good. Like I feel like price charting has a good grip on this some of these games are absolutely expensive like path of radiance um but i feel like gamestop's prices weren't too bad they were actually probably pretty good and i think that that's what makes this uh, series of videos kind of interesting 
I got some good GameCube games and GameStop wasn't too far off on the pricing and that's kind of surprising. So I want to know what you guys think. Comment down below and let me know what you think of this. Would you buy these games that are cheaper on GameStop getting them loose or would you try to go ahead and spend a little bit more money and get complete games which is what I would do. I love complete games. I usually pass on loose discs but that is what it is. I want to say thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Make sure you hit that bell notification. That way you know when I post more videos, which is every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. And one more time, thank you so much for watching. Now down below in the description, I've got a link tree which has the link to all my stuff when it comes to social media. I've got YouTube, obviously, TikTok, Instagram, Twitter. I even have merch down there. I've got some cool stuff on the horizon that I'm working on. So check out those links and make sure you are followed. I want to say one more time, thank you so much for watching and make sure you have a good day.